Hello everyone! We're thrilled to introduce the exciting new upgrades to our Word Fill tool, which is now revamped as the Word and Number Fill tool. From generating number fill puzzles with customizable options to utilizing AI for word lists, these enhancements are designed to make your book creation process even more seamless and versatile. Whether you're looking to add multiple answers per page, customize the start number of your puzzles, or simply give your word list a unique title, we've got you covered. Let's dive in and explore all these fantastic features. To get to the Word and Number Fill tool, you can click on Activity Books, Word and Number Fill Puzzle, or just click on the icon. Let's start off with the new two-page puzzle option. This option is perfect for those of you creating large print books. To get started, we want to set up our trim size, 8.5 by 11. Let's do a word fill. You could also do a custom trim size if you would like. And you can do between one, two, or four answers per page. If you're doing a book for large print, you're probably going to want to stick with one answer per page. So let's leave it at that. Then go on to your puzzle settings. Let's just do one puzzle for now just to demonstrate the two pages for you. We'll show you how to use the puzzle starting number a little bit later. Words per puzzle, let's do 40. And let's increase this since we have a lot of puzzles. Let's do, I mean, a lot of words. Let's do 25 by 30. You can also say how many letters to show. Uh, let's, let's do 10. And let's go over here. We'll just leave this as title. I'm just going to cut and paste my words into here. And you need to go over here and say two page puzzles. And since we're doing large print, let's increase the font sizes for these. So let's do 20 for our titles. And let's do 20 for our word list. Now let's just go ahead and hit refresh and see what we have. Now we have our word list. We have our puzzle. And we have our answers. Now, if you want, you can move this word list down by using the start list at. So let's increase this number and move the list down. We could also increase the size a little bit if we wanted to. Let's take 22. Let's increase these as well. Now, if we like that, that looks nice. The puzzle. We can increase the size between the title and the puzzle over here. We want to make that larger. And then once we get it the way we like it, we can just go ahead and do it down. And here's what it looks like. So you would have your word list on the left side, then you would have your puzzles, and then you'd have all of your answers. Now let's look at the new number fill puzzles option. This option is going to let you create number fill puzzles with randomly generated numbers, which is going to let you generate number fill puzzles very quickly and easily. Now to switch it to number fill, you go under the book settings and instead of word fill, you put number fill. Now under the puzzle settings, you're going to have this where you can put how many numbers you want to have for each one of the numbers of digits. So let's do, let's say we're going to do 10, 10, 10, and 10. And let's go back over here and let's do four columns. And let's do a refresh. Now one of the options you have is whether or not to add the separator. That's this title here, four digits, five digits, six digits, seven digits. You can click on here to have it. Or if you don't click on there, it's not going to have the titles. I think most people are going to want the titles, but if you're trying to do really difficult ones without the titles to up the difficulty level, you can do that as well. 
I'm going to put back the titles. You can also put whatever you want here. So right now it says digits. That's the default for numbers. If you're creating books for people who speak different languages, you can change this to be in the language of whatever your target audience is. Now let's show you how it would look if there wasn't two pages. That's pretty quick and easy, huh? So how about we just do 10? And let me show you what it looks like if you have two answers per page. Let's go ahead and do a download. So now we have each one of our puzzles. And then at the end, we have two puzzles per page for the answers. So this is a quick and easy way for you to put together number fill puzzles. You can make them as complicated as you want or as easy as you want just by changing the width and height and the number of numbers you want for each one of these digits. So if you have more digits that are, if you have more on the higher side, it's going to make it more difficult for you. And of course, if you want to change this to zero and not show any numbers, that's going to make it even more hard. So this is the different ways that you can control the difficulty of these puzzles. And here's what it looks like with none of the numbers being shown. And of course, you can select the font for your title. You can select the font for your list down here. And you can also select the font for your answer pages. Now let's look at one of our most requested features, the ability to have AI generate the words for you for the word fills. All you have to do is enter the themes for each puzzle and let our tool do the rest. So let's show you how to do that. Let's switch it back to word fill. This time, let's do four answers per page so you can see what that looks like. Under the puzzle settings, let's just do four puzzles. We're going to go ahead and start with one for now. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and stay with 40 words per puzzle. We'll leave all of these, maybe show, I don't know, five, five words. And then over here, you say use AI instead of enter words. So now you have to enter, since I said four puzzles, I need to enter four themes for these puzzles. Let's say for kids, let's do, say, colors, numbers, shapes, and flowers. We're going to do English, and let's say kids 8 to 10. Let's stick with, let's have this be a little smaller. Let's say 12. Let's go back into the puzzle settings, and let's make this be smaller as well. How about we do 15 by 20? And now let's hit the refresh. Now this happened because our font is too big. We couldn't fit everything in. So let's make this smaller. How about we do 12 instead? And let's make this smaller and say we're doing 12 words per puzzle. Let's try this again. All right, now that looks better. So like with our other tools, we could do different titles and then we could take the themes we had and just put them in here. So I think we can make this a little bit bigger. So let's go back here. Let's maybe make it 14. Now let's do a refresh again. And you can look at the answer page and you see you have all the answers. And once you get it the way you like it, you can hit download. And here's what it looks like. So we've got our color word fill, our number word fill, our shapes word fill, our flowers word fill, and then all of the answers. So this is a quick way to create word fill puzzle books. All you have to do is come up with the themes for all the puzzles in your book, and then let the AI come up with all the words. Let's move on to the last new feature. We've added the ability to start numbering on any number. And this feature is perfect for those of you who want to create puzzle books with different types of puzzles and maintain the puzzling number throughout the book. It's also perfect for those of you who want to create, say, a word fill book with different levels of difficulty increasing throughout the book. So let's show you how to do that. Let's use 
a number fill for an example here. And let's say we want to do 12 number fill puzzles and we're going to do 15 by 20 and let's do and let's stick with the 40 numbers. Let's go ahead and do a refresh. Oh, we need to go back and take off the titles here and just do title number. So we'll just say puzzle. Okay, let's do that. If we like that, then we can download our first 12 puzzles. Well, let's look at the answer page first. Okay, looks nice. Let's go ahead and do that. You know what, let's re just decrease the number for the answer page for the title. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Let's say 18. Let's do a refresh and see what it looks like. Yeah, I like that better. All right, so now let's download the first 12. Okay, so now I have a PDF with puzzles numbers one up to 12 along with all the answer pages. So this one ends on 12. So this time let's start with puzzle number 13. Let's again do 12. Let's increase this a little bit. Let's do 20 and 25 and let's increase the number of, of numbers here as well to 50. Let's do a preview. Okay, that's nice. Let's just go ahead and download that. Now we have another PDF. The puzzle's a little bit more complicated, starting with number 13. So we have 12 and we have 13. And this one goes up to number 24. And again, we have all the answer pages. So this time, let's start with puzzle number 25. Let's make this a little bit bigger. 25, 30. And let's add in 10 more digits. Let's do another refresh and let's see what it looks like. Those just barely fit in there. Make them just a little bit smaller. Okay, I like that better. Now let's do a download. Now I have another set of puzzles that are more complicated, starting at 25 and going down to number 36. So you can see you can keep doing this until you get all the puzzles that you want at all the different levels and then you can use the PDF to PowerPoint tool to convert them into PowerPoints and pull them into Canva and combine them together. I have a video that shows you how to do that. I'll link it down here in the description so you know how to do it. And that wraps up all the new features for this tool that I wanted to show you for the word and number fill update. Thanks for joining us today to explore the latest and greatest upgrades to our word and number fill tool. We're dedicated to making a book creator the ultimate destination for all your low content book needs. Remember your feedback drives our innovation. So please let us know your thoughts. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.